when you begin worshiping the Holy Ghost as God it puts you on the fast track to promotion the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words my name is Andrew Hemstrott thank you for joining us if this is your first time here make sure you subscribe if this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you then consider becoming a partner with us Luke chapter 4 verse 8 Jesus said thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve well tonight I'm going to be preaching to the choir that means people people that have received this message people that have become Holy Ghost worshipers this message is for you because I spend a lot of time trying to preach to people and reel them in people that have not yet worshiped the Holy Ghost because I'm trying to make Holy Ghost worshipers out of them mm -hmm. but we've had some success and people are beginning to worship the Holy Ghost as God like they should yes say like they should like they should Jesus said thou shalt worship the Lord their God they just don't know the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. as the Lord their God they should but they've not come to that place yet and so I spend a lot of time attempting to get them to come in but this is for those who have come in those who have received this message from this ministry and they have become Holy Ghost worshipers there will always be naysayers they say nay there were naysayers when you believed on Jesus and got born again they say no that didn't happen and yet we can testify that there are certain things that have happened to us when we do believe on the Lord Jesus we become brand new on the inside yeah. okay. there's a testing results that go along with it and those results testify to the fact that something happened things were not the same Amen. then I was filled with the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking in other tongues and that was different I became different that was night and day different from what it was before I'd received the Holy Ghost and began speaking with other tongues mm -hmm. and I had a testing results mm -hmm. results that testified to the fact that that was a real thing that happened and it's different than it was before mm -hmm am I getting this across yes trying to walk you through a progression here so that you can have some context well then that led me to worshiping the Holy Ghost as God which I will talk about in a little bit a lot of people didn't go that far with it they received the ability to speak with other tongues but they didn't receive him for who he is as God mm -hmm. are you here yes. and there's naysayers that say oh no you don't do that there's no such thing as a Holy Ghost worshiper yes there is I'm a Holy Ghost worshiper say I'm a Holy Ghost worshiper Jesus said thou shalt worship the Lord your God and him only serve when you come to know that the Holy Ghost is God he came into the earth he is the Lord my God well I'm gonna worship him and him only serve receiving the Holy Ghost as God and worshiping him is night and day different than all the other things that I was doing before yes. are you here mm -hmm. I have a testing results in my life that prove it say I'm a Holy Ghost, worshiper. I'm a Holy Ghost worshiper. worshiper if he is God and you're not worshiping him then you're not fulfilling Luke chapter 4 verse 8 thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only serve right there's only one part of the Godhead in the earth today and his name is the Holy Ghost Jesus isn't here the Father isn't here he's in heaven with Jesus they sent the Holy Ghost to be with us he's here well when I believed on the Lord Jesus Christ got saved you know that language most people do 
born again right mm -hmm. i was brand new on the inside and in the local area where i was there were only those kind of christians that i knew so in order to fellowship with my brothers and sisters i went to these type of churches but in the midst of that i had received the holy ghost with the evidence of speaking in other tongues and i remember the day i was in one of these you know revival meetings where people they preach that jesus died for their sins according to the scripture glory to god people would get saved but nobody got filled with the holy ghost i can tell you that this man came in he became one of my good friends later on but he came in he had a smile on his face i knew at once i knew at once this man had been baptized with the holy ghost and spoke in tongues i knew it i walked right up to him and i said what are you doing here <laughs> and he said oh well you know i just came in to see what was going on with the revival meeting and yada yada well he became a good friend of mine because now I can fellowship with someone who was there are you here because it was night and day different from just being saved people that are filled with the Holy Ghost know exactly what I'm talking about it's night and day different is it not preaching to the choir say it's preaching to the choir right so I said what are you doing here and we began to fellowship with one another and I was in that group of believers where we preached faith and we preached the gifts of the Spirit and receiving the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking in tongues I was in that group for years say years, years. and I developed in it and I read the word in it and I put in my 10,000 hours speaking in other tongues I put in my over 10,000 hours in the word mm -hmm. are you here and I preached in it I went to I went to Bible College in that same group of people mm -hmm. but not once in that group of people did they say I worship you Holy Ghost they never went there the gift of receiving the Holy Ghost and speaking with other tongues should have say should have should have led us to worshiping him as God but it didn't because our doctrine disallowed it in fact we'd preach on that you don't go there you don't worship the Holy Ghost as God are you here well if that's in your doctrine how could you possibly go there you couldn't and so all of these people that I was under and with and loved never once put their toe through that door of I worship you Holy Ghost not once not once not one single time couldn't go where I'm talking about tonight but I've gone there I've gone there I not only put my toe through that door I went all the way through the door and that's where I stand tonight and I am telling you it is night and day different from all of that other stuff that I was doing before mm -hmm. I'm not saying those things weren't good am I making myself clear I'm not saying those things weren't good I'm not saying you shouldn't get born again I'm not saying you shouldn't get filled with the Holy Ghost and speak with other tongues and preach the word of faith but I'm saying if you don't go through this door of worshiping the Holy Ghost as God you can't know what I'm really talking about it's night and day different just like being filled with the Holy Ghost was night and day different from just being born again mm -hmm. worshiping the Holy Ghost as God is completely different I use the analogy of like a radio you remember a radio right I don't know if people even use radios anymore now they're like digital radios they, you just punch in the number and it comes up right but before you had to be on the station and sometimes it would drift in and drift out you remember this yeah. driving in the car trying to get it to come in come out being born again was like having the radio station compared to listen compared to say compared to compared to, compared to worshiping the Holy Ghost as God being a Holy Ghost worshiper just being born again was like having the radio station almost there you could sort of hear it you could still make out the message right 
you could still hear the news but it had some kind of crinkly thing going on in the background it wasn't great then when i got filled with the holy ghost it was like oh man i could hear it a lot more clear a lot more clear than it was before right but something still wasn't quite there the fidelity wasn't there do you know what i mean by the fidelity the the highs and the lows weren't there it wasn't spot on worshiping the holy ghost clears everything up you've got deep rich bass you've got crisp clear trebles things that you couldn't hear before things that made no sense to you before are suddenly crystal clear night and day different are you getting this yes. but back when i was praying in tongues just praying in tongues and going to bible school and preaching in that in the word of faith circles those were my people i considered those to be my people that's who i fellowshiped with mm -hmm. But like I said, not one of them entered through this door of worshiping the Holy Ghost. How do you know this? I was there. I'd been around. Mm -hmm. I preached all the stuff. I preached all the messages. But receiving the Holy Ghost and speaking in other tongues should have led all of us listen it should have led all of us to worshiping him as god because that's who he is Amen. but our doctrine disallowed it and i'm telling you that where i am today as a holy ghost worshiper is night and day different than all of that am i getting it across because i i i hear people sometimes they'll, they'll semi sort of uh, mentally ascend to the things i'm saying but until you enter through this door and worship the holy ghost as god and have that have him rewire your thinking you don't really know what i'm talking about this is different now remember who i'm talking to I'm preaching to the choir here those of you who do worship the Holy Ghost those of you who have come into this room and are being changed by it I've stepped over the threshold I've entered a new reality that I live in listen if you can hear it I've experienced a freedom in here that's only available in here and you can't experience if you're outside you know you think my testimony would mean something i've been around a while i've been in all of these groups i've been in all the circles i've preached all the messages i'm telling you this is different this is better and being in here is night and day different than all of that second corinthians chapter 3 and verse 17. now the lord is that spirit and by the way jesus never turned into that spirit jesus Amen. sent that spirit to be with us Amen. and he that spirit is with us right now in the earth now the lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the lord is there's liberty or where the spirit lord is is say the spirit lord. the spirit lord how can he be a spirit lord if you haven't acknowledged him as lord the spirit verse 18 but we all with open face beholding as in a glass or mirror the glory of the lord are changed into the same image from glory to glory say from glory to glory, from glory, to glory. even as by who by the lord who is that spirit or the spirit of the lord almost all the other translations say the lord who is that spirit yes he's the spirit lord how are we changed from glory to glory by the spirit lord mm -hmm. the spirit being lord changes us yes. listen the spirit being lord changes you in a way in a freedom 
in a liberty that you could not have if he wasn't that are you here and if he was that you'd be worshiping him i'm telling you worshiping the holy ghost as god is different from all the other stuff and it changes you from one glory to a different glory did he say from one glory to the same glory no. you're changed into something else it's different you're changed into something else it's different say the glory, the glory. I'm, changed to I'm changed to is different, different. By, the spirit, lord. by the spirit lord that's what i'm telling you i'm preaching to the choir you're changed into something different mm -hmm. so if people go oh you're different yeah that's right i've stepped over the threshold i've seen the new reality because i've been changed from one glory mm -hmm. to another now you would say someone being born again that's a glory to it right yeah. someone being filled with the holy ghost speaking with other tongues there's a glory to it mm -hmm. they're changed from one to the next i'm telling you this the spirit lord changes you from all that to something else and it's night and day different i can hear people out there all over saying amen they know what i'm saying is true i'm preaching to the choir you know that's when you preach to the choir you get a lot of amens don't you yes because they're all hey amen 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 i mean because they believe they're, they're right on the same page yes amen <laughs> and i have nothing to do with people who don't worship the holy ghost as god if you don't like that then you probably can't hear the things i'm saying anyway then go somewhere else that's okay mm -hmm. but here listen if you're here you're hearing the words i'm saying and you acknowledge and testify to the fact that it's true and you're being changed from one thing to the next you've been promoted say i've been promoted things have changed for you when you crossed that threshold into becoming a holy ghost worshiper liberties come to you that you didn't have before we go from glory to glory by the spirit lord knowing the spirit lord worshiping the spirit lord say worshiping worshiping the spirit lord, the spirit lord. we go from glory to glory promotion promotion we go from one to being promoted and guess where you can't go if you don't worship him to the next glory yeah. are you getting this people are getting it so we have luke chapter 4 verse 8 again says thou shalt worship the lord thy god and him only shalt thou serve now the lord is that spirit where the spirit lord is there's lip. the lord is that spirit thou shalt worship the lord thy god the lord is that spirit mm -hmm. thou shalt worship the lord thy god the lord is that spirit are you getting this mm -hmm. and when he's that to you you go from glory to glory am i making my case mm -hmm. So I can go to the next glory by worshiping him. <laughs> Acts chapter 13. Mm -hmm. Acts chapter 13 and verse 1. Now there were in the church that was at Antioch certain prophets and teachers as Barnabas and Simeon that was called Niger and Lucius of Cyrene and Manian which had been brought up with herod the tetrarch and saul saul was paul mm -hmm. verse 2 as they ministered to the lord say they ministered to the lord, ministered to the lord. other translations just interpret that worship and i would agree as they worshiped the lord now remember what we just read now the lord is that spirit thou shalt worship the lord thy god they knew these things as they worshiped the lord and fasted 
the Holy Ghost said as they worshiped the Lord the Holy Ghost said separate me Barnabas and Saul for the work wherein to I have called them who said this who said to separate them who said separate me Barnabas and Saul for the work wherein to I have called them Holy Ghost yes. they worshiped the Lord and promotion came they were set into a position they weren't in before can you see this yes. as they worshiped the Lord the Holy Ghost the Holy Ghost said mm -hmm. promotion verse 4 so they being sent forth by the Holy Ghost yes. who were they sent forth by the Holy Ghost the Holy Ghost they were worshiping the Lord and fasted and the Holy Ghost said promotion and then sent them forth Psalm 75 verse 6 says promotion comes not from the east or the west but promotion comes from the Lord can you see that as they worshiped the Lord he promoted them did you see that mm -hmm. say as he worshiped, as he worshiped the, Lord, the Lord he promoted him, he promoted him. promotion comes not from the east or the west. promotion comes from the Lord they were installed into something new by worshiping the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. I'll say it again they were installed into something new by worshiping the Holy Ghost something they weren't before so don't yell at me don't criticize me when I say worshiping the Holy Ghost puts you in a different place installs you into something you weren't before the simple fact is you become a Holy Ghost worshiper which is something you weren't before I was in the ministry like 30 years preaching things before I became a Holy Ghost worshiper I never tried to get people into becoming Holy Ghost worshipers but I do now because it's vastly different yes. are you seeing this mm -hmm. and you can hear it when you go into places just like my friend when he came into that one service and I'm like what are you doing here when you go into these other places where they haven't received the Holy Ghost as God and begun worshiping him it sounds like the station is a little bit off it's not coming through as clean as it should yeah. so they were installed into something new by worshiping the Holy Ghost worshiping him promotes you he promotes you as they worshiped the Lord and fasted the Holy Ghost said promotion separate me Barnabas and Saul for the work wherein to I have called them and then they were sent forth by the Holy Ghost into something they weren't before Holy Ghost worshipers listen you will be promoted expect promotion say expect, expect. promotion it's built into worshiping the Holy Ghost we go from glory to glory when you go to the next glory you're promoted to the next glory yes. say I'm promoted, I'm promoted to the next glory. the next glory in fact Holy Ghost worshipers when you begin worshiping the Holy Ghost you've been promoted you were promoted from something you weren't before to something new and you stand in this new place with a new mind and a new thinking that you couldn't think before you didn't know before because you've been promoted you're now something new something you weren't before you're a Holy Ghost worshiper and it will never be like it was before well <laughs> I wanted it like it was but it will never be like it was before and that's good news when you go from one glory to the next glory don't look back to the other glory and go hello oh, those are the glory days <laughs> the glory days no this is better yes. say this is better. this is better expect promotion 
even those who preached faith in my olden days say his olden days. his olden days even those who preached faith wouldn't go here they wouldn't preach this mm -hmm. no. couldn't see it this way he that comes to god must believe that he is and say and and, and that he's a rewarder of those that diligently seek him he's a rewarder he's a promoter of those who diligently seek him him who him the holy ghost you get promoted you expect promotion and it pleases him yes. the reward is promotion the reward is a new way of life that you begin living because you're living in a different level of glory it's a new technology that destroys the old technology mm -hmm. it makes it obsolete i can't tell you the number of things that have become obsolete that i used to hold oh, oh, oh. I, it's obsolete now because it just i don't need to do that anymore mm -hmm. it's not necessary because mm -hmm. i worship him i've come to a new level it kind of destroyed that old way of doing things the old way of thinking those that are still in the old ways have no idea what i'm talking about but doesn't make it any less true i'm standing here telling you i was you before and now i'm not you anymore i'm this i'm a holy ghost worshiper i've gone to another level of glory and i look down at the old level of glory and it just it just doesn't taste right anymore a new level listen a new level of glory a new level of wealth a new level of health a new level of youth renewal in your physical body a new level of deliverance that just happens before in the old ways you struggle and strive and try to work a deliverance out and you get prayer chain say prayer chain get that prayer chain going sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't nobody knows why I don't live there anymore I live here and you stand in a place that you could not stand in before didn't even know it was there and you look around and you see that everything is new the old things have passed away behold all things have become new in this place i've seen the future and it's in this room the room of holy ghost worship a room full of holy ghost worshipers people that are worshiping the holy ghost as god and have attesting results attesting glory attached to them are you here that's different glory that they didn't have before glory that they couldn't access without coming into this room and worshiping him as god they obtained it through the use of the words i worship you holy ghost a new mind is glorious new thinking is glorious new speaking is glorious new hearing is glorious being able to hear things you couldn't hear before like this message you see i have a new taste now the bible says taste and see that the lord is good the old ways just don't taste right anymore it's in bad taste to me i don't say things the way i used to say them before it's in bad taste it's offensive to me and to the holy ghost who's god in the earth today the old ways taste bad the old ways taste old mm -hmm. stale this new patch of worshiping the holy ghost doesn't fit on the old garment if you try to just attach it to the old garment it tears it it destroys it i know i had it destroy my old garments because it's brand new it's new 
say it's new, it's new. and then in, in it has to rewire and refashion a whole garment for you that's brand new on a completely different level of glory i'm so glad that some of you are getting this the new patch can't fit on the old and that's what everybody tries to do they just try to add a little bit of holy ghost to whatever they're doing and they get some results and they get sometimes there's no results they don't know why you been there you can't hold on to the old you have to let it go say let it go, let it go. and that gets harder the longer you go you go in one direction for 30 years and you're like ah, now i gotta go in this direction mm -hmm. everything seems new everything seems weird mm -hmm. what do i do you gotta go mm -hmm. you gotta let it change you yeah. is this making sense yeah. you're the choir you see i'm not that anymore mm -hmm. i'm this mm -hmm. i'm new i'm a holy ghost worshiper i was not that before those who go with me are with me those who hear these words can go there but i'm never going back i have no desire to go back to the old the old glory was glory for a time but now it's old this is new this is better i'm never going back i've seen too much i've come too far i've been promoted with promotion that comes from the lord of spirits and worshiping him i've been promoted with a new reality to live in and i shall live in it and i shall walk in it to the fullest that it can possibly be join me or go away and weep i'm never going back when you begin worshiping the holy ghost as god it puts you on the fast track to promotion go there stay there and let the wheels spool up and take you to a place that you couldn't even possibly go to before because it's his glory he's the one who promotes say the holy ghost, the holy ghost. is the one, the one. Who, promotes who promotes me you get that straight you will worship him people say oh you should worship god then jesus should not have sent the holy ghost into the earth because the holy ghost is god somebody's going to worship him receiving the holy ghost and speaking in other tongues should have led us to worshiping him but your old doctrine disallowed it we're not going to be stopped by that anymore we are going on in this room of worshiping the holy ghost to greater glory from one thing to the next until he is fully pleased by us worshiping him and walking with him in the earth thank you holy ghost for blessing these people causing this message to go deep into them and creating new change new ways and old things falling off we worship you holy ghost and we take hold of the new and walk with you as god in the earth today and we worship you in jesus name amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me holy ghost you are god in the earth today i walk with you by saying words you have increased me from one glory to the next i expect promotion and i worship you in jesus name amen holy ghost your god in the earth today the father is in heaven jesus at his right hand holy ghost your god